There's a reason why we need trees in urban areas. They absorb CO2 and keep our air fresh from pollutants. Sadly, not all cities have put in a green thumb in urban development and have less trees in crowded cities. Now, a French biochemist named Pierre Caleja has created a way for CO2 to be absorbed and provide street lighting with algae. The lighting installations powered by algae use good old photosynthesis to create electricity and power lamps. This one claims to be able to absorb a ton of CO2 per year as much as a tree would absorb in its entire lifetime. It really seems to be a pretty amazing idea that could work well in clean air pollution from urban areas like parking lots, city centers, and roads. It also keeps the city aptly lit and looking good. With simple and cost-effective science, cities should give the green light to this bright idea. In cases of fires, responders find it hard to pinpoint the location of stranded victims through smoke and flames. Infrared technology has been used in the past, but heat from flames tends to obscure vision. Now, with new research from Italy, firefighters may actually be able to see through the flames thanks to infrared hologram technology. Researchers have created a system that cuts through smoke with infrared lasers. The lasers bounce off of anything from people to furniture and go back through an imager to show the firefighters a 3D view of everything around them. Current firefighter camera technology is much more limited. They can be blinded by thick smoke and flames because they have a lens that must zoom in on a light source and focus. The smoke and other environmental curveballs makes it difficult to focus. The device still needs to be refined and made into something that's small and portable enough so that emergency personnel can actually use it in the field. Once this happens, firefighters will have a new way, with lasers, to save more lives. Mm -hmm.